This is much more. Charlene Sweetland with us this morning. Wisconsin fairest of the fairs. And right out of the gate, what is fairest of the fairs? So the Wisconsin fairest of the fairs is an advocacy position used to promote all fairs. So county fairs and of course the Wisconsin State Fair. So you get a chance to go to every county fair in this state. How many of them are there? So there are 75 county fairs or district fairs total, including the Wisconsin State Fair. <laughs> How many have you been to so far? The Wisconsin State Fair marks 33. Approaching that halfway point, and it's probably been an incredible run for you, right? Oh, it has been. It's been a journey, and I've been loving every minute of it. Absolutely. So you're from Green County, which we love back at home, <laughs> Broadhead, Wisconsin, supporting the whole state. Way to go! Yes, absolutely. I special love for Green County. Yeah. Do you have an agriculture background? Oh yes, I grew up on a diversified livestock farm down there in the Broadhead Judah area. Yeah, yeah. We say down there because we're up here in West Dallas, and here you are at the Wisconsin State Fair. I need your help. As I look around this place, it is overwhelming. There is so much going on. It's slowly starting to fill up now as this is opening day of the fair. How do you navigate the Wisconsin State Fair? So I will give you three key tips. Number one, the Wonder Fair Wheel. I mean, you can't miss out on a fair without going to the a Ferris wheel. Number two would be the original Cream Puffs and the Cream Puff Pavilion. I mean, it's not the Wisconsin State Fair without the Cream Puffs. Celebrating 99 years, 100 next year. Yes, absolutely. And then number three would be events in the Bank 5-9 Amphitheater as they are free to go to. And it, it really gathers everyone in one area and gives fairgoers a chance to get to know each other. Now, as fairest of the fair, Charlene, you've had a chance to already take a look here at the Wisconsin State Fair. How about the food? There's some incredible lineups of food, too. Oh, yes. And we cannot miss the number one Sporky's winner, which was the Beer Cheese Wisconsin Lava Cake at the <laughs> Worst Bar. <laughs> yes, and the Worst Bar just happens to be right over the way here, a deliciousness at its finest. And I've had a chance to see one of those eaten this morning. Oh my goodness, you talk about the lava part of that, that cheese just oozes out. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's like an explosion in your mouth almost, I mean, but a wonderful cheese explosion. <laughs> Let's go back to the cream puffs for just a bit. They expect to sell over 400,000 of those original cream puffs. The experience of the cream puff here is none other, right? Right, because you have the chance to witness how the cream puffs are made from start to finish. Yeah, yeah, it's so much fun to check that out. Uh, as far as the kids go, we happen to be behind the giant slide here. A lot of folks get an opportunity to go on that. You've been on the slide before? I have been, <laughs> and I will be going again. You will be going again, and we talked about the Ferris wheel too. Will you be getting on that big wheel? Oh, absolutely. There will be a couple of different times. <laughs> a couple of different times. So as your reign continues, when did you actually take over this title? Was it back at the beginning of the year? Yes, it was in January of this year. January of this year. So here we are in July and still traveling around over 30 plus fairs that you've had a chance to be to. Uh, what's the most unique thing that you've seen here in the state of Wisconsin when it comes to the fairs you've visited? So honestly, they're all very different in their own aspects. There are a lot who hi that highlights more of the livestock side of the fairs and there are others who highlight more of the festival side of fairs so all of them in general are very nice and unique in their own way. Growing up is this something that you always wanted to be did you ever think that you would achieve it and actually be fairest of the fairs? I've always adored the fairest of the fairs and even just the the queens in general with the advocacy and everything for agriculture and stuff so it has been, definitely been a dream of mine and a goal of mine for a very long time so to now be in this position representing the whole state of Wisconsin and even Greene County is an honor. It's been a real treat to chat with you and walk with me if you will we'll, we'll just start to get our fair on here this morning as you continue on in your reign, what's the end game here? Where do you go after this? So my goal is to eventually start a podcast or a talk show highlighting the fair industry as a whole. You see a lot for agriculture, um, which is awesome and it's very important, but I want to also highlight the fair industry as a whole so then people can get to know what the importance is and what goes behind the scenes. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes. In just minutes before we did our live shot, we were watching an entire band go by. We've been watching some of the folks over in the dairy area go by. This is a bevy of activity. Honestly, yes. And, and there truly is something for everyone here at the Wisconsin State Fair, too. Yeah, the entertainment, the food. By the way, all those grills are kicking up right now. The smells are incredible. Oh, my gosh. I will agree with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I have to ask your favorite part of the Wisconsin State Fair. 
My favorite part, see, I can't pick a favorite part because I love everything about the Wisconsin State Fair. I grew up exhibiting here um, with my sheep and everything, but I will say the Wonder Fair Wheel is spectacular. Once you get to the top of that Ferris wheel, you can see the entire fairgrounds, and that's it's a different perspective. Well, I tell you what, I, I know you got the almost heels on, but let's start trucking down there. All right, we're going to the Wonder Fair Wheel. We'll catch you in just a little bit, live at the Wisconsin State Fair. I got seven bucks for you, too. Even though I got a feeling you can get on that thing for free, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll send it back to you in the studio. More from the Wisconsin State Fair in just a bit.